So today we're going to talk about U.S. Night Vision's Banshee Dual Tube Articulating Night Vision Goggle. Um, I just got this in last Friday and uh, I'm going to do a little quick review on it. I haven't got to use it yet. I'm going to try to use it some tonight. But we'll go over what all comes in the package and what you get with it. So as far as specs goes, um, these are, you know, their new dual tube articulating night vision. Um, it's a, you know, they're using state-of-the-art technology for this. Um, it utilizes the standard PVS-14 optics in a machine, 6061 aluminum for strength, uh, weight reduction, all that stuff. Um, you'll see that these, when you get shipped to you, they will actually be in plastic. I took them out of plastic. Um, you get your tubes. You see how they articulate up and down. Everything's secured on here. You hook the stuff. Your um, dovetail for the mounting system to adjust your gain and stuff like that on the front for both tubes. Your on off and your um, IR illuminator on here also. It takes one AA battery. It also takes the battery pack as well. You can adjust these tubes multiple different ways, you know, all that good stuff. Myself, uh, I had the PBS 14, the mono tube, and it's a little bit different than uh, when you're running dual tubes. It's much different if you've always been used to running uh, a mono tube, but other than that, it works really good. So what all you get in the package, and you want to get extra eye cups, lanyards, covers, um, you know, all the whatnots. We can read it offline and tell you exactly what you're getting with the system. You know, it's a brand new product, autogated image tubes with data variable manual image tubes, gain standard, uh, the IR on board. Each user is a IPDS stops. So it has PBS 14 optics set, articulating housing with auto pod shut off, high light sensor to protect image tubes, single AA and double and dovetail mounting platform. Uh, what you're all getting with it, like I said, you're getting the eye cups, you're getting the uh, sacrificial windows, the demiss shield, the lenses, tissues, lanyard, um, two year warranty, all that good stuff. You get batteries with it. it they send actually two set, two AA batteries and uh, your warranty cards will be in here. You also have the cups if you want to put those in there. Another battery, like I said, some stickers, all that good stuff. Um, pretty good setup, honestly, for the price. Uh, most of your cheaper dual tubes that you're seeing right now are going for around five grand ish, and that's about what I paid for these after shipping and all that good stuff. Uh, the only crappy thing about all night vision is that you don't get a good uh, mount with it. And I think that's kind of ridiculous, especially for the price, but I mean, that's, a, that's for a whole other conversation. But as far as that goes, as, as of right now, I've only used these in the house, so tonight I'm going to take them out and actually do some shooting with them, hopefully get some video. You can see how they work, they close in. All that good stuff, the dovetail and stuff like that. I'm gonna mount them on the helmet and show you that also. So mounting the tubes, it's pretty simple. Literally, you just um, <coughs> face it the right way for one, taking it and sliding it right in the dovetail. The latch is in place. You're gonna just have them out, tilt them up, all that good stuff. The, the best thing about it, the articulation like this, what I like about it, instead of having to flip them up, if you want to drive or um, trying to, to talk to someone or whatever, you can just pull these out of the way. That way you're not having to mess with your mount and all that good stuff. You can just push them right back into place and they're ready to go. Some of your other ones have adjustment knobs that you know run them in and out and all that good stuff. I myself like the articulation of this. It makes it much easier. So it's um, a preference in my opinion. I, I honestly like that a lot versus, um, like I said, twisting the knob with the regular RMVGs and stuff like that. Um, it's hard to get your hands on a lot of this stuff because it's expensive and people don't actually buy it. So if you have the military stuff, you get it kind of full with it a little bit, but then you still gotta get your hands on to see what you like and what you dislike. But as far as that goes, um, right now, 
the honest review on it. I, I really enjoy these. And like I said, I'm going to take them out tonight and shoot some with them. And we'll see exactly how they do. Having the capability to flip these up, run at night, makes it really nice while you're driving. Um, if you're going white light and you're being able to drive and then if you have to go blackout, flip them down, the auto gate kicks on, lights go out and you're able to see and drive no different. Um, makes it really nice. Uh, being in the Jeep makes it a little bit tough if you have to flip them up because the top's so close, uh, especially if you're running the old PVS 14. It's pretty tall when it sticks up off your helmet. Having this mount makes it much nicer. Also, where it's a, a lower center of gravity on the helmet and it makes it sit better on your head.